quickly want to talk about is what InfraKit is doing towards sustainability. Um, so maybe in general, talking about InfraKit, we are a Finnish company uh, that was founded in 2010 uh, based on a research project uh, from the University of Olu in Finland and a construction company and technology provider. Uh, there was a master thesis with the concept of how can I basically bring data from the BIM, which is most of the times uh, only being used in the design phase towards the execution of projects. So we basically connect data um, with the machines, with 3D machine control, with assets on the field um, towards the execution because this is the missing link that still exists also here uh, in the German speaking area. Um, uh, basically, how can I use all the data towards the execution to quality assurance, uh, those kind of topics. And um, that's also one of the reasons um, how can we become more sustainable uh, because most of the projects, uh, uh, the costs are not in the design phase, but in the execution phase and later on um, the maintenance uh, of projects. And of course, um, all the machinery, all the assets on, on, um, on the project, uh, they cause CO2 uh, emissions. And what we are basically doing is we have a logistics uh, integration now with InfraKit, so we can bring all the BIM data um, together with s builds real-time data from the project and also measure the um, CO2 emissions that is caused by machinery, by different assets. Uh, so um, about six months ago, we were awarded uh, by the uh, Finnish country uh, to develop our solutions uh, towards more CO2. Uh, so that means basically that we are currently in the development phase um, of uh, enabling um, CO2 calculations for the projects uh, beforehand, uh, but then the actual important part to also measure CO2 as we execute on the project. Uh, and of course, uh, a big uh, topic, I just uh, jump uh, through some slides very quickly um, because this is... Um, from another one is, of course, uh, the digital silos, um, which are often a barrier in the construction uh, and also causing a lot of um, change orders later on uh, because we don't collaborate in the right way, uh, basically between the design, the ownership, and the execution uh, of projects. Uh, so by enabling the different integrations uh, between the different stakeholders and then also connecting trucks in the field um, uh, we are able to, to reduce uh, CO2 emissions, and I think that's also something. Uh, there's the first tenders, for example, in Austria for 2024, uh, first projects where the, um, uh, within the bidding phase, the construction companies, of course, also need to calculate the CO2 footprint, and later on also in the execution to actually show um, what the footprint in the project has been. I know I should talk more about this, um, but since it was just last minute um, and I was not prepared on that topic, um, maybe are there any questions in general about InfraKit or, or that topic? No? Um, yeah? You get a microphone, I think. Uh. Does it work? Yes. I, I noticed that you mentioned that you work with CO2, but I didn't really get how you relate the CO2 with BIM. <coughs> Say again, please. How uh, to? Yes, you work with CO2, but I don't really get how you relate CO2 with BIM. Do you like set some standard to, um, to, to, to some standard to calculate the, to um, like estimate the the ecos uh, ecosystem of the building or something like that? Yeah, we are more, more working in civil and infrastructure construction, so not uh, the, the vertical building construction. Uh, that's our topic. And there, of course, the machines and assets on the field, uh, they are the biggest uh, point there, not so much the materials. Uh, but where do you move material? How long does it take? Uh, how many kilometers? And um, there are some standards like the AEMP uh, standard uh, from machines. Uh, they provide like uh, fuel consumption uh, and those kind of topics that we can then utilize uh, to calculate uh, the footprint. And of course, along with scheduling tools uh, to also include the materials and movements um, to get as best as possible. 
and also but that's also our job for the next uh, few years to uh, um, develop more with the funding uh, of the Finnish uh, government uh, towards the topic so uh, not everything is fixed um, um, in detail yet uh, but this is the, the basic principle okay thank you okay um, by the way, um, at 14.45, so in an hour in stage five, um, I'm going to showcase an Austrian highway project um, and how InfraKit was utilized um, between owners, uh, design companies, uh, and the construction company, and how they did benefit from that. That is not so much the sustainability topic, but still how to increase the efficiency uh, of the projects. And I think that's what all contractors or construction companies are aiming for, is to become more efficient. And of course, that also leads to, to a better footprint. And yeah, sorry, I don't have to say more uh, at that stage, but um, feel free to reach out uh, to us. Uh, we're also here in Hall A3. Uh, and then also Jere, who couldn't come uh, last minute, unfortunately. Uh, we can uh, have a meeting or whatever. And yeah, very welcome for that.